So I just used chat GPT and I asked it a few questions about Jehovah's Witnesses and it is interesting. It's really interesting. So I put in here why the Jehovah's Witnesses do not toast. So for those who do not know this, Jehovah's Witnesses do not clink glasses at events, weddings or dinners, wherever you are, they do not toast. So I asked Chad GPT why they don't and here's the response. Jehovah's Witnesses typically avoid toasting for a few reasons. First, they believe that toasting has its origins in pagan rituals and can be associated with the worship of false gods. How? Don't ask me. <laughs> Secondly, they view excessive alcohol consumption as being contrary to the teachings of the Bible, which encourages moderation and self-control. Wow. Hypocrisy much? Wow. Additionally, Jehovah's Witnesses are encouraged to avoid behaviors that might stumble or accuse offense to others. This means that they may choose not to toast or raise the glass in situations where it might be seen as inappropriate or offensive to, do to those around them who may have different beliefs or values. Bruh. This one was definitely written by Jehovah's Witnesses. Like, I think Chad GPT got this from. I don't know a Jehovah's Witness publication because if Jehovah's Witnesses do not do things because they don't want to offend other religions no they don't do things or they do certain things to make themselves stand out from other groups to make their members feel more special when in actual fact they're not more special because of just these ridiculous ridiculous rules that they make so this is done just to make them feel more special more like oh my gosh this is really the truth wow these people don't know that toasting is bad but we do so it means we are the chosen ones that's why they do such weird i don't know practices in general the jehovah's witnesses seek to to live a simple and modest lifestyle that is focused on serving god and following the teach the teachings as outlined in the bible false as well so the Jehovah's Witnesses do look to live a simple and modest lifestyle, but also the money that you make needs to go back into the organization so that the organization can have more money, more money for other stuff like the governing body for them because they fly around the world also to um, maintain their headquarters in New York and in different countries where they have branch offices. So yes, they're living a simple and modest life, but the organization is still making bank. I mean, they got upset about Norway. So that tells you a lot. If they are upset that Norway took away its funding, shouldn't that make us think that, hmm, why is a religious organization so pressed about money? Lastly, while they may have their own unique practices and beliefs, they strive to show respect for others and to promote peace and harmony in their interactions with people of all backgrounds and beliefs. <sighs> I feel like Jehovah's Witnesses sound like abusers because it sounds like they just want to live in harmony with people, but living in harmony with them is basically following their rules. And if you don't follow their rules, what do they do? What do they do? They shun you. They don't want you around them. They don't talk to you. They don't interact with you. So I don't see where the harmony is in that, where you're shunning and you're basically causing mental health issues to people. So yeah, Chat GPT. On this point, you're correct in terms of how the Jehovah's Witnesses would explain it but I also feel like as an AI that's not influenced by groups like this we should also know what actually the true reason is why the Jehovah's Witnesses um you know don't toast and they don't do other ridiculous things as well so yeah this was interesting like I think guys try it out like search stuff on chat gpt and see what the responses are about jehovah's witnesses it's quite interesting and i'll see you all in the next one